instructions here which will be posted at the bottom of this video as well so you can read through it and take your time with the 10 basically 10 steps to install an operating system on your USB flash drive which will also allow you to put the Kodi media center on your USB flash drive now that you would have an operating system installed on it that makes for excellent free TV portable TV you put it in your pocket take it wherever you go plug it into anyone's computer and watch streaming free TV with Kodi Media Center on an operating system but basically you have to put the operating system on first and these uh, instructions here help you to do so at least hopefully they will now as I said you can read all these below and take your time with it but I'll go through the steps here as well so step one it says to basically uh, use a 3.0 USB flash drive. You can use others, but I recommend the 3.0. It's a bit of a better uh, USB flash drive speed. And you insert that into your computer, of course. And then also download the Universal USB installer or similar software. There's uh, many similar types of software out there, but I'm using the Universal USB installer. So I'm going to click on that now. And as I do, it will get this screen popping up saying allow it basically. Once I've, I've already installed it, so uh, this is why I'm just utilizing it here now. Of course, you'd have to install it as well. So I'm just saying I agree to use the program, and now I have this screen. So on this screen, we have a few tabs. We start off with the first tab right here, the first pull-down tab. And we look for Zorin. Zorin operating system. Scroll down, it's almost to the bottom, but not quite. Right here you'll see Zorin operating system. So when I click it, you may not be able to see really clearly on this video, but when you pull up the software, you'll see for yourself. It's, it's right there, not almost to the bottom, but not quite. So I select Zorin operating system. So now Zorin operating system is showing up here in the first pull down tab. This is probably not really clear. I'm looking through my uh, iPhone here. Um, the second tab right here says browse to find your Zorin ISO. Well, you've had to uh, download that as well if you haven't done so already. Go to basically Zorin.com and, and find the Zorin Lite. I have a link to it in my notes, so if you want to follow that and go to the link in your notes. Right now I'm just going to browse to find it on mine since I already have it downloaded. And I have it under my downloads folder and here it is right here. So I just select it and then choose open right here. When I do so, click open here, now you can see it shows the path right here. And it will work the same for you as well. And then the third pull down tab, you have to select uh, which drive you're using for your USB drive. I have mine uh, as the E drive, it's a 16 gig, it shows 14, but it's basically 16 gig, so I just select it. And when I do that, it reveals this slide bar here, which is basically a persistence um, storage area, so it allows you to store things on the USB without losing your data, so to speak, to put it all briefly. So I take that slide feature and slide it all the way to the right, and I use the full 4089 megabytes, so basically uh, 4 gigs. And I just say create. So I just click create right here. And I get this here basically saying it's going to do this, 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 and this. Do you agree? And I say yes. And then I just sit back and wait for it to um, go ahead and set all this up on the USB. So if you want to pause, or uh, not pause, I guess you want to jump ahead. <laughs> jump ahead in the video until all this is done. You don't have to stare at this screen. You can jump ahead in the video anytime. But we're just going to uh, do this in real time and wait. Basically, again, just installing all the needed setup on the USB flash drive. We don't have to do anything. We're just sitting back waiting for it to do it. It's a great little piece of software this uh, universal USB installer. It's all free by the way, no cost or trial wear or anything like that. I guess you can help and donate or whatnot. And a lot of these uh, software or free software allow you to do that, so you can probably do that if you want to. 
my site is uh, my site is TV that's free .com. if you want to check that out anytime I can do all this for you if you like if you don't want to do it this is almost installed so we're just waiting the green bar is almost complete doesn't take too long and in real time just waiting for it to complete so now it's saying it's creating the persistent file on the USB now this can take some time but you have to be patient and you have to wait again you can advance forward in the video here as we're just recording this in real time this takes a fair amount of time to wait for it to create the persistent file because I selected such a large space of four gigs of a persistent file and all the persistent file is basically as I mentioned earlier is a, a space on the USB uh, flash drive that you can actually store data um, beside the operating system like once you're in the operating system using it um, well that's one thing but you can actually plug in your USB stick into your computer and actually still utilize the space of the four gigs for storing things as well so uh, and that comes in handy with the operating system too uh, if you get familiar with it you can see how that will work for you later but we're just having patience here now again you can advance the video after this is done I'm just trying to be patient here and rattle on talking while it's creating the persistent file Thank you for your patience if you're watching this still. This is the boring part, just waiting. But it's pretty mindless if you are doing this in real time. Watching this in real time as well. Not having to do anything here, just but sit back, wait for it to create the persistent file. Again, my site is put a plug in while we're talking while we're waiting here. <laughs> TV that's free.com. I can do all this for you if you just didn't want to do the steps yourself. But it's all free, it's all pretty easy and mindless. So once uh, this does complete, it's basically ready. Uh, just a matter of restarting your computer in a boot mode menu, or the boot menu, however you want to say it. Every computer seems to boot up a little differently in the boot menu, so I'd advise you to research your own computer and find out what your boot menu is. Mine, for instance, is uh, hitting the ESC button when I start up my computer and uh, when I do so it'll give me a boot men menu allowing me to select the USB, you know, to boot from the USB. My son's computer uses the F2 key up, up on startup and that allows uh, for a boot menu and he can boot from the USB that way. Others uh, use an F12 key to boot up theirs. So you have to research your computer specifically and find out what is the key for you to press to get into your boot menu. And of course, if you go into it a little further, you can have it automatically set to boot from uh, a USB if you have it plugged in. That's exactly how I have mine. So I don't actually have to press the ESC button anymore because I have it automatically set up. So now, if I just start my computer and I have the USB in there with an operating system, it'll automatically boot up. So, excuse all my ramblings here, just uh, recording this in real time. You can advance further if you like, or watch this in real time. Woohoo! Exciting stuff. Again, what's taking so long is it's creating a 4 gig persistent file so we're just waiting for it to do that. It does take a bit of time for to do that. might even be faster on your computer. I don't know. Mine's just sort of an average laptop here that I'm using. And it takes a fair amount of time in real time, which is what we're doing here to uh, go through this process. And I know I can speed this video up myself, but I'm just going to leave it in real time just to let anyone know. This is basically how long it takes and if you're doing it you're not necessarily doing it wrong if it takes a long time because it does take you know a bit of time as you can see for yourself but again the joys of advancing a video you have at your disposal to jump ahead you can by all means do so later on when you get some time check out tv that's free.com a world of uh, 
free TV through the Fire TV stick if you don't know how to do that. Some tutorials to show you how to do all that and how to set up the Kodi TV and so on. I have it all there on my website in different sections of my website. Okay, it's saying creating the persistent file. The progress bar will not move until finished. Yes, we already read that. And it's, uh, still trying to finish up the persistent file here. So we're just waiting in real time for it to do so. And then we'll be basically done. And we didn't have to do much to get to this point. So we're just waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Thank you for your patience and putting up with my ramblings. But I feel the need to talk. <laughs> Forgive me. It looks like it's almost done there. Installation done, it says. Process is complete. Installation done. Process is complete. So I'll just go ahead and hit close. I just thought maybe we'll do it on its own, but I guess not. So we just hit close because it's telling us it's complete. And now, all we have to do is restart our computer. So I'm going to go down to my restart button, and I'm going to say restart the computer. Clicking restart on the computer. It's going to shut off here now. Doing this in real time. And of course, I still have the USB flash drive left in. So when it goes to uh, start up again, again, you may want to hit the boot sequence on your computer to get into the boot menu. Mine is automatically set for USB flash drive. So there you have it. See, it just automatically went into my USB flash drive boot menu, which you see on the screen here. Now, all I have to do is hit enter, but I'm just leaving it on screen to show you. And it's running off right here. Where is it? <laughs> here it is. My um, USB flash drive right here. And this is what we're reading right here. So I can just hit enter or just wait 20 seconds or something and it'll automatically start as well. But I'm just going to hit enter don't have the change up or down or anything just hit enter and it should just go right into the operating system there we go it's launching the operating system again coming off the USB drive this is not coming off my computer drive or hard drive or whatever it's coming off the um, USB drive in fact I have Windows on my computer and this operating system here it's a free operating system it's called Zorin as you downloaded it and here you see the Z or the Z um, showing that it's starting up the operating system. Again, just having a little bit of patience as we wait for the operating system to start. And it's doing that now, going to a black screen and then going to launch into the operating system. So just have some patience as it does this. And there you have it. This is now an operating system on your USB flash drive. One of the first things you're going to want to do when you get this far is go down in the right corner right here where you see like a little X uh, see if I can get this to focus a bit better. And if I can get my finger in here to show you right here, this is where you would need to select your Wi Fi in your area to log onto the Wi Fi. And this is really the first thing you need to do so you can have some internet access and enjoy this, of course, to its fullest degree. So I'm going to move.